Here we are in the garden again, talking about the gopher spur, Euphorbia lithyris, which I consider to be the number one best anti-gopher plant that there is, and maybe the very best of, of all methods of keeping gophers and moles out of your garden is to plant a uh, hedge of gopher spurge. In the family spurge, the Euphorbiaceae, this plant is hardy to zones 5 to 12 when it overwinters as a biennial, otherwise it can be grown in the garden as an annual. Uh, uh, variously known as mole plant, caper spurge, gopher plant, petroleum plant, I find that these are uh, really, really very hardy in the garden and very uh, beautiful right now in the fall. So uh, the gopher spurge is considered to be uh, a invasive plant by some. One man's invasive weed is another man's way to feed, I always say. So they uh, are self-seeding and even though um, you know they you may not keep the original plants in the row at the edge of the garden uh, they'll drop seed and then more plants will grow so once you get them established usually have them uh, in in this border type situation and I, I have to tell you that if I hadn't planted these uh, plants here which was this sort of like the uh, entryway or the freeway for underground rodents to enter my garden. If I hadn't planted these plants here, I don't think I would have been able to harvest these carrots, which came from just the other side of the uh, of the row here that I just dug up. And those are some beautiful uh, scarlet nanties from my friend Noe Turk. Uh, the seeds uh, and and uh, they were grown there right next to these gopher spurge in a place where uh, last year you couldn't have even thought to grow a root crop. The gophers were so heavy in this area. So the uh, plant contains also a uh, acrid latex in, inside. And that's probably why it works so well against gophers because they get up to the roots and, and uh, it burns their little eyes and they go away again. But in any case, uh, the humans don't want to ingest this plant. Uh, you know, that's certainly my warning. And you really don't want to get the latex uh, on your hands or uh, especially not in your eyes. And if this does occur, uh, then certainly wash your hands uh, immediately. And if it gets in the eyes, then you can purge the eyes uh, by lying on your back, pour a stream of a cold whole milk into the eye and then that will uh, save you from going blind. The, um, otherwise, uh, it can really be very, very uh, um, caustic to the ocular, uh, to your ocular reality. Uh, so beyond the cautions though, um, it's really a handsome plant. It's very interesting. The Euphorbiaceae are always interesting shapes um, and, and activities. The uh, erect stem uh, bears uh, these lance-shaped leaves. Uh, the color is blue-green. They're variegated with a stripe right up the middle. Um, the flowers, uh, when they do occur, are yellow, and they give way to these pods, which uh, these plants have already thrown their pods for the year and have now come up with this sort of sort of new growth. Um, and the pods hold the seeds, which are really quite large. They're about a third the size of a pea. And the, uh, the plant prefers full sun uh, to part shade, and it does fine in regular garden soil or poor soil. We have these uh, volunteering in uh, uh, trenches that are left over from doing some construction around the house. And uh, the plants just look as happy and as green as anything that was given uh, careful attention and, and compost. So you sow the seed in the spring in pots or directly in the garden. Uh, you cover it up with about a half an inch of soil, tamp it well keep it warm and moist until germination, which uh, can take up to six weeks, so you want to get started early. Then um, you either thin them or, or transplant them to uh, a foot or two apart, as you see here, and put them right on the edge of your garden, and that'll help keep the gophers and moles from getting into your garden. So that's the main thing about gopher spurge. I really uh, encourage everybody to grow it, and 
uh, keep it and uh, consider it to be uh, good vibes uh, to maintain the edibility of all of the root crops in your garden and the very existence thereof.